Before you get started planning out your Haas Revo cable railing system, it's important for you to have a good understanding of what the components in the system do and how and when they're going to be used. That's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Also, we have a lot of really helpful cable railing videos on our channel, so be sure to hit that subscribe button. Whenever it comes to the Revo system, you're going to have two different types of tensioners to choose from. You're going to have the Revo lag tensioner, and then you're going to have the Revo through post tensioner. The Revo through post tensioner is going to be used for both wood and metal post, and you're only going to be using it whenever you have plenty of access to the back side of your post. What makes the Revo through post tensioner unique is that you actually have the ability to hide it inside of the post. So the only thing that you're going to be seeing is a small decorative cap on the back side of your post. Also, this tensioning fitting is going to be used for both straight and angled runs, and it is easily our most popular tensioning fitting due to its minimalistic look. The Revo lag tensioner is going to only be used for wood post and primarily in post scenarios whenever you don't have access to the back side of your post, for example, a post that's up against your house, and also in scenarios whenever you have a larger post or a column like an 8x8. The Revo system is composed of three different types of end stops. You've got the Revo standard end stop, the Revo low profile end stop, and then the Revo lag end stop, which you can't see. The first two end stops that we're going to talk about are going to be the Revo standard end stop and then the Revo low profile end stop. Now both of these end stops are going to function in the exact same way. They can both be used for either wood or metal post and either straight or angled cable runs. Now the primary difference between the two is going to be their appearance. The Revo standard end stop is actually going to match the look of the cap on the Revo through post tensioner. That way you can have uniformity across your system. The Revo low profile end stop is going to offer you a lot more of a sleek and minimalistic type look. So if you don't want to have your end stops protruding from the back side of your post, then the low profile stops are going to be a great option. So lastly, we're going to talk about the Revo lag end stop. The Revo lag end stop is only going to be used for wood post and it can be used for either straight or angled cable runs. Now, just like the Revo lag tensioning fitting, it's primarily going to be used whenever you can't access the back side of your post or in scenarios whenever you're dealing with a larger column, like say an eight by eight. So if you're looking for a fitting that you can use whenever you don't have access to the back side of your post and hard to reach places or for big columns, the Revo lag and stop is the fitting that you're going to want to use. At this point, you should have a pretty basic understanding of what the components in the Revo system do. So if you have any questions, be sure to drop us a comment below. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like. I'm Tyler with Haas Stainless. We'll see you next time.